Hello guys, uh, Elthar7 here, I guess. Um, today we have a tutorial on how to sync Call of Duty clips, I guess. I've been requested this for a while. A lot of people ask me to make a tutorial on how I do my syncing, how I work. So let's just get right into it. Uh, right here, you're gonna have like a little showcase of what we're gonna be doing. Okay, let's let's import the song in a clip and I also have a little cinematic right here so we can work with first of all you're gonna be dragging your song and making a composition out of it uh, you can also make a folder and call it song so it can be more organized you can also do the same with the clips call it clips and then the same with the cinematics you know to be more organized and have everything correctly done uh, then you can go to composition settings on your song you can change the name if you if you want to you can just make it this i guess 1920 by 1080 oh my bad okay and make this the fps you work on on um, my case it's 24. gonna click ok you're gonna take the eye off the song in this case it's an mp4 it's not an mp3 because i don't want really to write off youtube so i'm just gonna take the eye off real quick you can double click l on the song and you can get this some of you might have this like that you just gotta come here on the three lines and uncheck this rectified audio waveforms then just mark your song i'm gonna go ahead and do that myself you can just do that on yours i'm i'm guessing you already done that okay i already marked my song on how i want this to be synced now you can it, there's two ways of doing this you can double click your song and find where he starts spinning or where you want to start the clip i guess for me it would be somewhere like around here which is where he starts spinning but i want the gun to come out one frame before okay then we click this little thing right here and um when you drag the clip in now that's where the clip is gonna start uh, you can control f in case your clip is a 720 clip or it doesn't match the composition, just click Control Alt and F. Control Alt and T to enable timer map. Then we take the audio off because you don't really need that. Then find where the shot is. On my case, it's around here. Make a little marker and Control Shift uh, and D to crop the clip. And then click on timer map, hold Shift and select the first one and delete this is what i like to do so basically what that does is when you click timer map you select all of this all of the the timer map because this is like frames this is how it works i'm guessing you already know i'm just kind of explaining how i do it when you click on timer map you select all all of it when you hold shift and uh go on the first one which is the shot uh you unselect that one and when you click delete you delete both uh the left one and the right one and then you just have the shot and it doesn't move at all then we can delete that you can delete this too okay what i'm gonna do on this is i'm gonna have it slowly coming up on this on the first one so i'm gonna do 145 maybe or something that should be okay this is a slow song i'm gonna do something like that then okay moving on to the shot i'm gonna enable frame blending to start i'm going to the last frame and holding control i'm gonna go Forward in time to where I want the clip to end. So I want it to end right here on the POV. I'm gonna select both. And what I normally do is I have a shot preset that I made for this, but you don't you don't really have to do it like I do. This is just how I prefer doing stuff. I prefer using timer map and I prefer doing it like this. Then it looks something like this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna move on to the cinematic now. And then I'm gonna edit the kill cam right here. Let me add the text. Okay, double click the cinematic just in case. You can also do that with the cinematic to where it starts. So you don't have to like find the place where it starts when you have it here. Then delete the first one. You can do the timing map thing I said before. And you crop right here. One frame back and just literally go forward. I'm gonna do this and the way I'm gonna sync this is something like similar to this. So it's gonna go fast at the start. 
He's gonna go slow at the middle where he is. And then he's gonna go fast at the end as well, which is the transition. So I'm gonna do this. If you hold control and shift with flow, it does at the same time. So it just it moves both angles at the same time. You just do that. It's just easier to do this type of stuff. You can also move this one a little bit. And yeah, see how it looks. Okay, let's see. I think it looks pretty decent, to be honest. Uh, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to do more. I'm just going to move on to the tool cam now. But you get the idea. You get how I do how I do this. It's not difficult at all. Moving on to the kill cam, I normally do the same thing. When I'm done with the POV, I just go back to the to the clip here, I double click it, and I find where on the kill cam he starts spinning because it's too much time to go through and find where he starts to spin. Okay, I want to start right here. Let me just drag it to the kill cam. All right. Control Alt F, Control Alt T. Make a little marker right here. You can do the timer map, but this time you select both so it doesn't delete the end one because you, you need it to move. Now just sync the way you want on the kill cam. Find a shot. I only just do something like this. Now find a shot right here. They might crop it. This, this, and you can crop this too. Then we can crop that and delete. Now enable frame blending. And do the same thing on the shots. Let's start with the shot. And we can just select both. Do something like this. Should be should be cool like that. I'm gonna check it out either way. Uh, but now with the with the clip right here, you just make markers on each beat. One thing though, if you wanted to sync to spe special things, for example, like right here, he shots the crossbow. If you wanted to like sync right there, you just come here and sync to that spot which is around right here he's gonna shoot that on the beat and then he just shoots right here okay now i do something like that for the kill cam so it goes a little bit faster than normal but one thing though uh if it doesn't look good to you if you need to fix something you go back and you just move the frames around and then you apply this again you don't actually have to have this exact uh flow sync you can always go inside if something doesn't look right to you you just come in here and you change how it looks it doesn't have to look the same on everything you gotta fix it uh to make it look good to your eyes on the song you're using okay let's see how it looks I think it looks pretty good for a tutorial, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and add some pin crop. You can do that yourself. Uh, this is the way I'm doing it. I'm, this is not a pin crop tutorial, so I'm just gonna skip ahead to the end. So I'll see you in a bit. Um, took me a little. I guess a couple minutes, maybe a little more to make the pink rock, but this is what I came up with. And there you go. This is how you sync using timer map on After Effects. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, follow me on Twitter and well subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet oh one thing i forgot to mention i'm gonna leave the song the project file and the clip and the cinematic on the description in case you guys want to check it out closer what i did and how i did on after effects you can so i'll just leave that it's free just download it and check it out if you want to and that's about it hope you guys enjoyed peace Yeah, it was great.